Hello, my queens. All right, here's a tweet from Kevin that is great. Hello, world. I just started watching the other two, and it is so fucking good. I highly recommend it to every living person on this planet. Uh, joining me now are two people who paid for that tweet. Uh, <laughs> the stars of the other two, Drew Tarver and Helena York. Yes. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yes. We paid $20 for that tweet. Good. Oh, just yeah. 20 Just 20 Just it's pretty 20 cheap. Pretty It's a steal in this economy. <laughs> um, okay, so for people who aren't standing yet, which is like five people, and we hate them, uh, <laughs> what is the concept of the other two? It's about this uh, young kid who gets yes. this overnight success on his song, I Want to Marry You at Recess. Right. Mm -hmm. He's catapulting through fame, and it's but it's a it's about his two, two uh, loser older siblings. Little, yeah. Wow. Which we push. Yeah. We harsh. are them. No, we identify as losers. That's okay for us. That's <laughs> we okay feel good about that. We know that <laughs> it's a lifelong commitment to <laughs> loserdom. Yes. Someone told me that at one point, like one of the possible titles of the show was going to be like, "I'm so happy for you." Is that true? Oh gosh. Oh, that's that's a funny good title. I I've like, never heard that. Yeah. Well, I'm so happy for you. That's uh, very um, you. apropos. I love. I mean, because I, I, I just like it because I feel like we are all in situations where people we love, uh, you know, have good mm -hmm. news, you know, whatever it may be. They might be, oh, I don't know, dating someone, and you're single during Valentine's Day, and you have to root for them. <laughs> right. Yes. Um, is that? Is, are you getting a lot of responses to that from the audience? Like, I feel this story. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, think I think. Well, I can definitely identify with. It. I'm the oldest okay. of uh, four, oh. and all of my younger siblings are cooler than me, <laughs> and like, like are just better all around people. Okay. So I am very much constantly kind of being like, well, good for them, good for them. I'm happy for them. I identify with mine because I'm the oldest of three, okay. but I think that I'm better than them, <laughs> even though I'm not. <laughs> Right. Um, so that's how I really self-identify with my character. That's how you get your yes. um, So the character Chase Dreams, which also that name just kills me. Every yeah. time <laughs> that, um, is it kind of based on Justin Bieber. Is that fair? A little? Is there a, is there a smidge of Justin Bieber? To um, I think the idea is that he is this like giant pop star kid. If you mm -hmm. see parallels to something, that's your brain. <laughs> yes. Um, what a polite. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> into it. Yeah, if you sure. read, That's then you're you welcome to. Yes. <laughs> well, something I wanted to ask you, um, do you think you could handle, personally, the level of scrutiny that comes with A-list fame that like, Chase gets? Would you... Um, well, we're getting a little taste of it. We've okay. started to get See? recognized yes. for the show. Okay, tell me. And it turns out it, like, we can't handle it. We, we can't. <laughs> we lose it. I, got, I, I experienced recently getting recognized while we were all together mm -hmm. at a bar and turned around and yelled at them, oh, my God, we're getting recognized for the show right now. Screaming, we're getting recognized. <laughs> and the guy who was recognizing her was going, Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. No, he was no. kind of wincing that she was screaming too loud. Oh, God. Um, and I was jaywalking across the street, okay. and there was a car pulling up, and I was like, just go. I need to, like, go around. And I went to jaywalk across the street, and I heard, I had my headphones in, and I heard the guy go, ooh. I just it was mum mumbled, uh. so I kind of, like, I took my headphones off, and I went, What's up? Very angrily, because I thought he was reprimanding New York. For I mean, we're jaywalking, and he was like, "I'm very excited for your show," and I was like, <laughs> "Thank you. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I was so mean to you." Oh, I'm also like, I'm kind of a whore about it. Like, okay. I'll stand <laughs> underneath the sun, the subway ads, just kind of like anybody, right, right, anybody. Okay, gonna... I wanted to ask about this because at one point Isaac, uh, my co-host, was like, "I want AM to DM subway ads," and I was like, "Absolutely not." I was like, "I'm a black gay man in America." The moment I see like. A a subway ad with my face on a deface, my feelings are hurt. Like, are, what do you, do you take uh, selfies? Are you? Yeah, a lot of people have been picking my nose at the poster um, and then sending me the picture. Mm -hmm. And then Sarah, who co had wrote it, found it where my face was entirely removed, which I, I really felt was the moniker of making it. Like, yeah. I either wanted a penis drawn on my face or yes. my entire face, like, removed. Okay, you're in. So you're in. I'm yeah, really doing it. So if you're, you're asking about A list fame, I feel great about it. You're there. You're there. <laughs> um, well, I, here's a really great tweet from someone who goes by Hunter on Twitter. Uh, that's his prison name. Uh, I never thought I'd see a television show where a gay man gains self-awareness <laughs> while getting a blowjob from a straight roommate <laughs> while wearing a t-shirt advertising a Tom Stoppard play, but the other two <laughs> deliver. Oh, I'm so glad he noticed the, um, 
Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. Yeah, yeah. 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 he was like right. levels. Got them all. Got yeah. them. Um, <laughs> yeah. And it's really cool um, to see complex queer characters. Yeah. What's it been like playing this character? I mean, it's been amazing. I think Carrie, you know, is dealing with his sexuality. He, you know. Figuring out what it's like to, he's an out character in the show, and figuring out what it's like to uh, be out, or, or what it's like after you come out, mm. you know, dealing with things that What comes next? Yeah, what comes next? Like, you know, dealing with internalized homophobia and complex feelings, and maybe hooking up with his straight roommate versus going out and actually sitting across the the table from a another gay man who is actually available. Mm. So it's kind of at times it's. It's almost like, woo, is this a drama? <laughs> <You know? laughs> like a little real. This is a little intense. Yeah. Um, but also Chris and Sarah, who write the show and created it, are really great at, uh, you know, just having a little... Little sad moments yeah. followed by big laughs. You I know? Love so it. you get multi-dimensional comedy. You are giving a very multi-dimensional performance on Thank the show. Thank you today. very much. It's I gorgeous. appreciate that. Thank I'm you. Literally <laughs> I paid her twenty dollars. Oh, it's good. <laughs> it's good. Okay, Venmo. It just it makes <laughs> everything so much. Yes, it makes yeah. everything better. Um, I wanted to ask you. Brooke is pretty shameless, which I love. Uh, yeah. Have you ever had a moment in real life where you were like, I, I just did. I just become Brooke in real life. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, for example, went to a premiere of I went to the premiere of um, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel okay. and I told I was with Sarah who mm -hmm. co-head wrote the show and I was like girl I'm so sorry I have to do the carpet like I have to do it <laughs> And I went up to the to the guy, and I was like, and, and the security guard was like, ma'am. And I was like, uh, yes, I'm doing this. <laughs> and then the woman comes up with her clipboard. She's like, who are you? And I was like, I'm Helena York. And she goes, mm, I don't have you. And I was like, <laughs> so where's the entrance? <laughs> sort of, and I was with Sarah. And so I where's had, the regular people entrance? So where do I go in? And Sarah was like, stunning display of brazen confidence, I Helena. Mean. I mean, it was... Done. It was really good. I <laughs> like want you to get write like a life advice book. <laughs> like I am I'm doing this. I'm doing this. That's yeah. the title. Yes. Yeah. 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 Advice from uh, Helena York. Yeah. Um, well, also, I mean, you know, the show has incredible alums and, of course, like SNL writers and everything yeah. wrapped up in it. But also, I love Wanda Sykes and Molly Shannon so much. Um, yeah. Was it like just working with them? Tell me everything. I was in a trailer with the two of them at one time, uh -huh. getting our makeup done, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, you and really, it was like the makeup artist, like, please be still. I know. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, it's weird. I I was doing scenes with Molly, and it's just so shocking mm -hmm. to be that closer. I feel like I was just like had a huge smile on my face, and I was I at one point I went over to Chris and I was like, hey, who was directing one of the episodes? I was like, hey, if it looks like the uh, character in the scene is just a huge fan of Molly Shannon, will mm -hmm. you come over and tap me on the shoulder and be like, hey, stop smiling. You're supposed to be angry at her in this scene. <laughs> you know That's I mean? good. We need those checks and balances. Exactly. Oh my yeah. God. Well, I've got to tell you, literally while I've been talking to you in the last minute, Emily Lanfer. Uh, Emily Lanfer, hi, girl. Hi, Emily. Sent me a DM. Oh, my God. You're interviewing my girlfriend, Helene, right now. Had no idea she was on the show today. She's the best. Helene. Hi. So, listen, and I didn't pay for I love Emily Lanfer. I love she it. works at Twitter. Yes. She's our queen. I have a lot of Twitter wow. friends. Oh, my God. Her and Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. Love you. Well, and TJ. Hi, guys. Hi, everybody at Twitter. Wow. I, I know it. no one at Twitter. Vin I have friends with real jobs. Yeah. I know, them. Yeah. I know a lot of people at Overstock, though. Do you think of my friends going to offices? <laughs> What's up, Overstock? Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh That's my a God. good hookup. You do. It is. It's you really do. good. I get a bunch of weird rugs. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, a, it's a one bedroom apartment. Well, Drew, Helena, thank you both. You are a delight. And truly, the show, I think this is already a show everyone's talking about, but it's about to hit a whole new space. Thank, thank you. Guys. Thank you so much. You're A-list. You did it. Um, the <laughs> other two air Thursday nights at 10.30 p.m. on Comedy Central. Watch it. Tweet about it. Up um, next, Isaac and I are going to read more of your tweets, and I'm just going to gossip with this, too. Yay! <laughs>